Hello, hello. This is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts. I'm back to do another uh, video on window envelopes. And it just so happens that I had this great big long envelope. Confidential, confidential, it says. But it really wasn't. Um, anybody could have received this in the mail. But I'm glad it came to me in such a big envelope because I want to use it. So, what am I going to do with it? I said to myself. So I sealed it back up with some glue and then I cut the sides and the top and this side and I left the bottom in. And then I began folding and twisting thinking how am I going to get this to fit on my page? Well, I thought, well, I could go this way, but that's kind of boring. Can't see through the pocket or anything. So I folded it open, and I folded it up. And depending on if you want it to go left or right, I want mine to go open from right to left. Um, depends on the way you fold it. So if you wanted it to go... Um, the other way, <laughs> how would you have to do it? You'd have to fold it inside out, this way. So, but I've got it kind of pre-folded here. Now, this is a normal eight and a half by five sheet, or eight and a half by 11, and I folded it in half. So I have the normal size page for a, um, journal. So I have this card now with two sides and I want to hang on. I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer. Um, I can leave it this large or I can actually give it another fold right through here. Let's see if we can do that. It's awful hard with that window in there, but I'll keep it as even with these others as I can. I can fold it there, and then one of two things can happen. This can fold up to here, or we can just remove that part, which is what we're going to do. We're just going to remove that little piece right there. Well, that's not a very good line, is it? Let's use this mechanical pencil. There we go, that's a better line. So let me bring over the trimmer. And we'll get some of this newspaper stuff out of there. And I'm going to trim it on that line. Okay, now it should fit better on our page. There we go. So now we have a little flip open, which we're going to close right here. This can be just a nice picture spot, like for this. Which is what I think we'll do with it. And then there will be a nice pocket um, right. We'll have to cut a thing in there. There will be a pocket here. And then depending on if we glue it all the way down or if we leave an opening under here. If we leave an opening underneath it will have a tuck, uh, sorry, a pocket here as well. So potentially it has one, two, my finger's not working, two, and three pockets. Now you could leave this for a journaling spot if you like, but I think we're going to put this card right in here. 
Now on yours you might want to go around and cover the edges. I'm not going to do that on this one just to save time for the recording of this. But um, on yours you might want to um, take the time to cover all those edges. Or, you know, ink them up anyway. That's probably what I'll do is end up inking everything. Okay, so I'm going to put this one down first. And then if I have areas that do show too much around the edge there, I can use washi tape. I can uh, put in some lace or trim. I can do some torn paper, which I love to do. I love to put the little bits of torn paper around the edges. So let's move this piece aside. And I'm going to start... I'm going to start at the bottom because I think... No, I think I'm going to have to start over here on the edge. <laughs> the edge and the bottom. Because I'm just not quite getting it into the right spot over here. There we go. So you can see I have some white showing around. That's fine. It really does not hurt a thing if a little bit of the envelope shows behind. Um, and you'll see that you can take that right out with some ink. Just by inking around it. And that actually covers it up pretty good. Now when we get to this red, I may want to cover that over because I'm not going to be going to be able to get rid of that as easy. So, now this part here, I don't need to cover the whole inside. But my envelope did have a rip on it, and I'm going to want to take care of that. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a piece of paper in here, just to protect that inside, the integrity of the, uh, the new envelope. Um, normally I wouldn't worry about it, but since it does have that tear, I do want to protect it a little bit. I don't need it to go clear to the edge because we're going to put glue in it. But let's go ahead and glue this in here to protect this piece from tearing any further. I might have the wrong side. Nope, I have it right. Okay. I'm going to just start down here. I'm not going to worry so much about this side because this is a glue line that right here. Okay. Had to get the glue off my hands. Good thing I got my old jeans on today. <laughs> Getting a good workout. Okay. Now, this is the next piece that you would cover. Um, you could use washi tape on it, but I don't know how well it will stick to this plastic. Um, I already have this piece of paper out, so I think what I'll do... No, that's not a double-sided fabric. I don't want to use that. On this piece here, you might want to use something double-sided. The reason I say that is that um, it will probably show through. So, let's see. 
do I have a double-sided fabric or fabric paper here? Um, I really don't. Darn it! What was I thinking? Um, I should have printed out some double-sided, huh? Well, we'll just have to keep it on the... Not let any show through on this side. That's what we'll have to do. We'll have to keep it just a little bit on the inside. So you kind of get the idea of here where we're going with it. Anyway, if you have double-sided fabric, <laughs> sorry, not fabric, <laughs> double-sided fabric, double-sided paper, you don't have to worry so much about it showing right here in the window because it ends up showing, sorry, I gotta get my finger a little wet there, ends up showing, um, the paper on the other side. I'm just going to go right here. I'm not too concerned about things hanging over the edges. We'll trim that up. Just by flipping it over. This is the other thing you could do is just go around the edges and darken them up with ink. But a lot of times it doesn't work too well when you have um, this plastic on there because it is covering the paper part. So let's see. that one down. Good heavens, my table's a mess. Just going to use that one and glue it right down across here. Our roof is all done. The roofers are gone. Boy, they were fast. He had a huge crew. Wowza. It's like how my dad used to do it with his crews. He wasn't a roofer, he was an engineer, but when he was starting up a mill, he'd send a big crew in to get the job done. That's what this guy does. Just sends in his whole crew and <laughs> there you go. Pretty cool. It's easy to appreciate people like that. You know, they give all these young people jobs and some people stay with them and become their managers of their smaller crews and it's just really quite awesome, you know. You really have to have respect for people that uh, take on that many people and, you know, get them working while they're young. And I mean, they're all 
probably over 18, but how fantastic is that, you know? So I just want to get these close to the edge as I can without going over. Okay. Now, let's see if that shows through the other side. That's not bad. Yeah, that works out fine. So, because this is not, this piece is not showing through, I'm going to go ahead and, oh wait, when I do that it might. I think it's okay. Okay. So, just to save time, I'm not going to complete all this piece. And we definitely don't have to do that other one. Okay, so there we go. Now, we do need to do this one, but we're not going to do the rest of this one here. So I'm going to run a little bit of glue right here, and then I'm going to run some glue right along here, just to seal the pocket up from this pocket. Give it some more integrity. Okay, now before I seal all of this up, whoops, you might have to use um, the other glue on this where the plastic is. Let's see, that is four and a half. So if I go right there, my center is going to be right about there. I want to cut my thumb hole. You might need a piece of heavy duty paper under it. It doesn't want to cut because of the glue. If it's like that, you just give it a little, a little twist without quite letting go of the paper. <laughs> and that will do it for you. Okay, run your glue along there, the inside of that. So now we've got a pocket here. And we have a front, and we have this piece that still needs something. Let's see. Let's just clean that up a little bit. Okay. Now let's do this part. Okay, I brought along this green paper. And I'm not going to be tearing and stuff like that today. I'm just going to line it up, cut a nice long strip there, and we'll start by putting that one right here. Looks like I'm going to have it just a little too large. Um, actually, I could have done it a little larger and brought it over to the front there. Um, but then if I do that, yeah, I'm going to make it just a little bit larger. Will that work? Or is that going to be too thin now?
Yeah, that might be too. We'll try it. So I'm just going to run glue along here. Put this down. I think it might go this way. Okay. Let's clip this off right here. And let's look. Can we roll that to the back or not? Well, I think we can. If we need to, we can use some washi tape to hold it. Just pull it nice and tight and get it all nice and glued down. And that will protect that flip and fold there, right there. Okay. And then we have this piece to go here. But, uh-oh, look, a curve. We have to fill in the curve. Um, you can do some corner angles on them if you like. You could use a different color if you like. Like this. And it's up to you whether you want them to be over or under. I think we'll go over and then we'll come back and fix all those. Let's do this one first. There it is. Had to find my Now this is where the red may show up on the bottom. So I'll probably start at the top, work my way to the back. So here we go, we're going to start at the top. I'm going to flip it around first. Is that the right way? No, it doesn't look right either. Start at the very top. Bring it down. Flip it over. And then we're going to come to the back. was easy. Just went right over. Whoops. Get back over there. None of those shenanigans, you. Okay. So, here. Let's put a little piece in there. Going to go from there to there. Now, one way you can cover those up actually is just to bring this down that much further. But then you need to do it on the other side as well if that's what you're going to do. That is one of the easiest ways to take care of that roundy corner there. So I will make this the same width all the way across and we'll use it on the back as well as the front. I 
and just like magic we get rid of that um, round corner otherwise I would go back to what I originally said was we could just put an angle piece on it which actually you know it kind of dresses it up if you if you think about it makes it look quite nice but let's take the easy route today there's a lot you can do with these window envelopes boy um, you have to go watch Roxy Creations her um, I don't know what day it is for her 100 day project but um, a friend of hers or an acquaintance she knows that she has made good friends with um, made this really cool uh, pocket uh, window pocket that goes between the pages so it you know is on one page and then another it gets sewn into the signature very cool she did a really nice job on it and uh, very 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 pretty okay going right here and I wonder is that going to show at the front I really want to take off just a slight piece over here which could be a mistake for me to do I can't cut straight like <laughs> like Tina does man she is so good at cutting a straight line it just is awesome see now I cut it too small but that's what we have for right now I don't like it we don't have it not anymore we don't have it I'd rather have it peeking around the edge okay let's cut a new one <laughs> I give we have to leave this little fold line in there okay right there is a crooked piece of paper my friends okay I'm not gonna look I'm just going to do it this time I think my husband's making dinner he was supposed to wait for me so I can get my video done because I couldn't make my video till the roofers left but there he goes I hear him chop chop chopping away well it's choice right turn it over so you don't cut the plastic on the window okay where's that other piece right that's not it this is it And it will get cut right there. Right there. Our pocket here and now we have a pocket here 
And we have the front of our envelope right here and it will lay flatter as the glue dries. But now it needs a journaling card in side of here. So what do I have? Um, well, here's a little note that I have. Will it fit? Because if it will fit, we could actually put a card in there, couldn't we? if I have it glued close, will it? No, that won't work. So let's just find a thicker piece of paper that is maybe double-sided that we could just use for now. Something that has a picture on both sides. Um... Oh, decisions, decisions. Let's see. No, not that one. <laughs> I've been going through papers all day. Grabbing out this, grabbing out that. Oh my goodness. It has been a day. Um, let's just grab out one of these. What do we have? dark on that side. Ooh, not sparkles. So, Just a little taller. I'm going to cut it straight across. And then what I want to do is fold it right on that line that I put a pencil mark. Because I still like the card idea. And there we go. Make sure it fits. Oh, you got it glued. Yep, it doesn't quite fit. Let's take it down just a little bit. And there we go. Flora and fauna on this side. And over here we have a picture of a fern. Here we have a little heart. Now we need one in here. So let's do this bird one. Um, oh, my hand. I'll just take it off right there. Then we have our little bird. And if we put a plane back on it, you could write on it. You probably might want to cut it off a little further because that is too tall. And maybe put a tab on it. There we go. I don't mind it sticking out a little bit. Okay, so this would go inside of your journal like this. It could be glued all the way down 
if you want you could put a little um, tie tab on it here um, that is up to you um, you can see as it sits here it's starting to flatten out very well um, so there's not much in it so you have some choices then whether or not to glue the whole base down right here or to glue just three sides and then have another secret pocket under here that would be up to you and then of course you would want to decorate the whole thing so there we are uh, that's something you can do with a giant window envelope if it takes up your whole envelope just by cutting it down and reset and refolding it and voila there we are perfectly easy the only thing we have left to do is to add decorations to it and I will do that when I fit it into a journal um, I also have these cards I'd like to show you how to do but not today this one is very simple and it's just a few folds I'll be back with that one uh, tomorrow or the next day so I think that is all I have today um, that's the one we did yesterday okay so that's the next one okay thanks for joining me today and I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick little uh, window envelope um, process video I guess it is um, really very very easy to make and you end up with lots of nice writing space on these tags um, you could even write in here right around the edges that's something I would do um, anyway thank you for joining me and I hope you all have a great day and I will see you tomorrow bye bye for now